original uh, script to Collision Course had a lot of twists and turns which took the plot in many, many different directions. And in the process of post-production, through a number of test screenings that we did for uh, probably four audiences, we actually had to smooth out the bumps. We took the little twists and weaves away from the, the, the plot to straighten it out to make it a simpler story in the end. So we've compiled some of the deleted scenes. We lost about 10 scenes in that overall picture. We've compiled some of them here for you now. The major subplot in Collision Course involved quite a lot of uh, undercover agents that were working for the main protagonist of the movie, Ansel. And in so Ansel. doing, there was a number of scenes that were deleted that involved some of the subterfuge that was going on. The scene that you're going to see next is one in uh, Deputy Director Reynolds' office, uh, which was uh, involved Aidan Young, Alison Standen and Steve Bastoni, where they were quizzing one of the main characters that was working in the Mojave Desert Space Laboratory to see just what brought the satellite down in the beginning of the movie. And I appreciate your discretion on this matter. So often these investigations are misunderstood, especially when there are several departments involved. On the day in question, you were the technician responsible for recording the mission data when the satellite went off its scheduled orbit path. Yes. And the assumption is this happened due to mechanical error? That's what I've been told. But the satellite could have also been manipulated from its flight path. That's, of course, possible. Who was making the flight corrections? <clears throat> only operators in the deep space network would have been able to program specific movement. And there were only three DSN stations. California. Australia. And Spain. So it's possible that someone at one of these stations programmed changes that resulted in deviations from the flight path. That's possible, but there would be a record. All the command codes are issued and validated before they're automatically entered into the system. So if someone was to look hard enough, there'd be a trail or a path. One of the dangerous scenes that we had to shoot was the King Brown snake capture, which was one of the integral parts to the truck chase later where Steve had to dangle the King Brown snake in front of actor Lockie Hume's space while he was being dragged behind the truck. The original shoot was for the King Brown capture was at night time and in the reviewing of the edit of that scene I thought that the night time capture really didn't do anything to enhance the danger of the situation. So we went back into the scene again, shot it again in daytime to put Steve into Danger, danger, danger. Oh, what a whopper. Have a go at the size of this in the perfect S position. Could sense my vibration coming down the road. Curled up here after a long, hot night trying to cool down. There's a huge, big message here for us. Babe, get me the catching bag. Right. This is a snake rescue. We're gonna have to take this snake with us. If you can imagine, he could be 20, maybe 30 years of age, and his life will end right here on the road. Woo, he's a beauty. He's in the S position, aren't you, mate? And he's a beauty. He's cool to the touch. What a whopper. Have a go at the size of this. What a beauty. Well, coming up. They've got the ability to come back up over their own body. Snakes get clobbered on the roads all the time throughout the world. They come out onto the road to cool down after a long night, a long hot night hunting. This is the King Brown. They call him King Brown. Hey, hey, hey. Because hey, hey. he's the king, the king of all snakes. Whoa, 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 whoa. The reason they call him the king is because these snakes eat other snakes. If you can imagine, they'll come in, locate another snake they want to eat, whack, hit it, maybe wrestle it. The other snake can bite, venomate right into them. Doesn't make any difference. They're immune to the venom. Get hold of the head of the other snake that they've killed and swallow it down. Sometimes they'll even swallow them while they're still alive. They'll eat other snakes and... Whoa, 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 whoa! Cannibalistic. You see him coming straight back at my head. Even though he's cool, 
He's got the capacity to come back up and nail me. You wouldn't want to get hit by a snake this size. These are a member of the Black Snake family. Corn King Browns are a member of the Black Snake family. Very potent venom, huge big venom glands right in the back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huge big venom glands right in the back of his head. The only snake that'd go close to the venom glands, the venom yield of the King Brown is the Taipan. And if you got whacked by one of these, you'd be in a heck of a lot of trouble. If you can imagine black snake venom, it gets necrotic. Then you get gangrene, you're right. You wouldn't want to take a hit down around there, mate. Woo -hoo -hoo. You'd be in a lot of trouble. We need to take him with us and set him up somewhere where he's not going to run into a conflict with cars. He's a little bit agitated, but he's not thrashing around all over the place. Babe, you got that catching bag? We're going to take him with us. We're going to take him to an area where he'll never get clobbered by a car. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Trying to get back up over his own body. You can see he can make it just about six inches off. If he could, hey, 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 hey. He's close. He'd tag me right on the hands, squirt a heap of venom in. Here we go, babe. Yes! One snake to release and one croc to catch her. One of the longest scenes of the movie was the croc towing the dinghy with Stephen Terry up a small creek. Now, in the original shooting, we had two logs across the creek which stopped or blocked Steve's path. And in the final edit, we had to cut out one of those logs. So what you're about to see is the full edit. Woohoo! This croc is never gonna give up. Sit, stay with him, babe. He's steaming. I have never seen a crocodile with so much determination and power. And it seems he knows exactly where he's taking us. Ah, straight up that small creek. Here we go. Watch it. No wonder these modern-day dinosaurs have survived over 60 million years. They're just so cunning. Oh, no! Oh, crikey! Duck! Whoa! Keep going. Stay with him, babe. Get up, up, up. I got him. ditch effort to give us the flick. Go, babe, go, 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 he's cornered. You may have noticed that uh, towards the end of the movie, about two thirds of the way through, the CIA guys, Reynolds and Ansel, uh, get into dinner suits. And uh, you probably wondered why. The, the main scene that was included in the very early edits of this movie included a, a rather big function, a lavish function, at the German embassy in Washington and uh, Ansel and Reynolds both end up there with uh, Aidan Young, who plays Buckweiler, uh, their assistant, coming in to tell them that the Irwins have been sighted and have the possibility of having the beacon in their possession. So this rather biggish thing was played out in uh, the City Hall of uh, Brisbane and uh, involved quite a lot of extras and quite a big setup and probably lasted for only one screening out of the three or four test screens that we did before we had to drop it because a lot of the audience thought we actually had gone to Germany in the middle of the movie. So it was a very confusing plot line to, uh, to have in there. We dropped it.
the original story for Collision Course involved a number of conspirators that were supplying information to Deputy Director Ansell. And the scene you're about to see is the original ending to the, to the whole wrap-up of the plot as it was in the original story. should break loose. It was the perfect plan. We both said it. Two years of infiltration to send that thing off course. I should be running the agency just on my ability to pull that off. Once they get on to Myra, they'll be investigating for years. Maybe they'll assign you to lead the probe. If it's any consolation, I thoroughly covered our tracks. Who could have predicted that two people in safari suits would show up and ruin everything? I think it's time we picked up the ball. <laughs> 